All right, hello and welcome. So I received my thing in the mail, but I'm gonna be honest, when you order stuff in the mail, look at this, look at this. Come on, the box is important, people. Shipping the box is important, look at that. Yeah, look at that, the box is damaged. Now I gotta worry if the figure is damaged too or not. When I order, I want the box fully undamaged. Come on, man. I got this from Amazon. And I'm really disappointed with the whole box damage. This is like every time I order from Amazon, either it's one of the Gundam kits boxes that's damaged or it's one of the figure boxes damaged. It's, it's getting annoying. It's not that hard. Like, don't ship in this. Ship in a small container box to avoid the damage. And yeah, this is on Sakura Mato. So I, I could probably just I'm trying to unbend the box and all the crap damage they've done to it. So I got some scissors. I'm gonna Yeah, I was hoping to preserve the box with the figure in it and Yeah, I'm I'm probably gonna keeping it out if it's not heavily damaged. Hopefully they didn't break the figure itself in here. It's very unprofessional. I had the same problem with Crunchyroll. I had the same problem with Amazon. Unprofessionalism. I pray and hope this figure is not damaged. Uh, from the looks of it, no, it's not. Thank God. I don't think it's damaged from the looks of it. Yeah. I can tell the build quality is not that amazing. I can tell on the left side of her shoulder, but let me take it out of this. Go slow, don't rush. The base is fine. The... So, let me get it right here. I think you can see right there. Not really great of quality with the whole steam line going on and then that little gap missing. And by the way, this is by Sega, so Sega didn't do that much of an amazing job. Eh, the face is not bad. And this is licensed and official by Sega. Yeah, we got some steam lines right here in the hair. One more thing. More better. Probably, it's not really that noticeable from far away, so. The paint. Yeah, it's kind of like rough. Well, to her face, you know, the face to you. Let me know what you think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can hold the figure now, and yeah, cause I got a tripod for the uh, for my phone to hold the phone up and record now, so it makes things easier to do when I'm doing other stuff. Maybe the area is just not great, cause you can see the sunlight back that way. But uh, I'm just using this, cause you know I need a bright spot. Let me show off the legs a little bit here. You can see the horrible steam lines and that weird groove going in there. Surprise. Yeah, I kind of wish they had done the pegs on the stand than on the feet because, you know, if any accidents ever happen and boom, that'd be hard to fix. No, I prefer the holes on the bottom of the feet and then it just locks in. 
But overall, it's not bad on Sakuramoto. The eye sticker thing with her eyes is... Well, let me get the box. Alright, I guess. It's not bad. I believe it was like... I'm going to say $20 to $30, somewhere in that range. Since this is official figure by Sega themselves. So... Because I had bought other figures from Sega from like Love Live on the Idol Girl Ren, who's my favorite from there. I got a couple on her from Sega and that's official by them. So yeah. The box here, I'm just going to have to fold it out and smooth it out as best as I can. But I prefer the box to be in great condition when receiving it. So I'm displeased with Amazon's warehouse and... The seller's handling of it. That this could be avoided on the, even on the Gundam kits, the figures, because you're paying good money for this. Twenty, thirty dollars, forty, that's still quite a bit for a figure. No one wants their stuff damaged. It'd be like, hey, I got a new card, but it's damaged with the scratch on it or a broken window. It's brand new. So I just gotta get this out. This is gonna go up right next to Kama. So, and I, and I do have a figure and I'll get to that here in a sec. I just gotta. Also, I do have another one coming. Um, that'll be in a separate video. So. So, the base looks fine. And actually, I, and I saw some reviews. People have issues with, you know, getting the feet in there and stuff. Um, I'm just assuming most people are just not. Some of them are probably going like this. They're like, yeah, the feet won't fit and stuff because they put the base backward. It, 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 yeah, see? See? And then slowly push it in, but don't too, not too much force. Because you don't want to snap anything. And, like, if you want to take it out and stuff... Set it down and then slowly pull upward. Right. It's a little difficult to do that way, but. Yeah, I'm a little worried that I might snap it if I try to take it out now at this point. But, yeah, normally it's just... slowly but surely it'll come and there we got it yeah you gotta do it slowly because if not hopefully you know it, it would be nice if they could do a better job with making sure it, like it goes in but it doesn't have to be too tight but enough to it locks in and but it doesn't because sometimes even a centimeter off can make it like that so we'll stop there for now and to the next one all right picking back up from where i left off i gonna say i was gonna put right there next to my comma figure and i already talked about this comma figure in my past video so just go through those and watch i'm not sure which one exactly but it was one of them um so so i'm putting my uh sacramento yeah and it was like i said um well, actually, I'm not sure I really said that in the video, but I'll just probably say it again. But yeah, Kama is the number one FGO waifu from Fate Grand Order. From Fate itself, like Fate, Zero the State Night and stuff and Heaven's Fill would be Sakura. That's the number one from there. So I'm pitting both the number one girls close together. Well, let me scoot this up a little bit. Maybe I should move this a little up. Actually, uh, let me see where the remote is. There we go. I switched it from, yeah, it was in like red mode, and now it, light load. Turn off the brightness a bit. So, now we have Kama, and we have Sakuramato. Two number ones from, one from Fate, one from FGO. <clears throat> so 
So I still have another thing I'm going to be adding to it, and I don't, it will be here, and stay tuned for that video for a follow-up for this one.